Before she explodes, Mary wants to run from the craziness of the capital's crowds to a remote Scottish island. Mary, I'd like to shock you. The life that I would be looking for would be a very active life um, and that's why fishing is so appealing. You go out there, you get the job done, you knack yourself out and you come home. This is too cool. This is fantastic. It's absolutely brilliant. It's just how I hoped it would be. The picture that keeps coming up in my head is me basically on top of a hill overlooking the sea and being away from it all and looking out to lots of space. I'm excited to see what a real Orkney village looks like and it does, even though there's not a lot of people around, it looks like a cute little town to be part of. It's completely different from London, but in a in a really good way. It's got quite a friendly vibe to it. I think this experience has made me realise that I do have to get out of London um, for the space and the peace of mind. Because as soon as you do get out to places like this and you talk to the locals and you get in and you have fun, you realise that you can live wherever you like, really. Shall we have a look at what friends and family have to say? Mary is very adventurous and very creative. She's really chilled out, she's really laid back and she's good fun as well. You know, if you go around to her house on a Saturday, she's she's mapped out a whole day. And of an adventure to do. She is a very, very happy sort of person, but she's a very deep person inside. I think she does wonder about what people think sometimes first impressions. I wish she had a job to do, <laughs> a place to identify to, yeah. and, a, a, and, and an outlet for her creative talent. She would be so yeah. happy. She's a really tough cookie, isn't she, Mary? She really seems able to take the rough with the smooth. Definitely. I mean, I think she's just showing that you give her something to do, and doesn't matter how tough it is, she'll give it a go. And she's got that real sort of positive attitude about things. So despite the fact that I think, you know, she is quite young to have this fantasy and in some ways it does sound over romantic, she has got the resources, the natural toughness perhaps to make something like this work. You're going to stay in, read your book and Am uh, I? we're all going out. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Being yanked away from my friends when I was actually so glad to see them it was actually quite a uh, quite gutting. And it has, sorry about the tears, but it has kind of brought home that I would absolutely die if I just if I left home and didn't have my friends around me. And uh, the way Julia put it, like being in the Orkneys and away from everyone and barren landscapes and all that stuff. I mean, it's great in my head, but I think the reality of it is I'd just absolutely fall apart and be like this. <laughs> sitting at home, uh, wishing I was out with my very, very good friends. The tears say it all, really. <laughs> she has this fantasy, but I think she really needs her friends and she really loves them and they, you know, they, they obviously think a lot of her and I just don't think she's going to really do it. No, I have to say, that until, I, until I saw that, I, I was convinced that she would go. Mm. Uh, I mean, and it's a shame because if there's a time in her life that she was going to be able to do it financially, mm. Mm. it's now, yeah. when she's got no ties and she's got no commitments and she could walk away tomorrow. Yeah. Mary wanted to be the tough ocean girl in a faraway town. But even if she builds the muscles needed for life on a boat, Orkney is way out of reach because at the first sign of leaving her loved ones, the waterworks took over. I think that exposes the fantasy for what it was, which was a, it's a dream and I think she needs to stop and face reality and she's got lots and lots of good strengths and lots of good skills and she'd find her niche but it's not running away from a group of people who she clearly values. Seeing what it would actually be like made me realise that it's a fantasy that's kind of better off up here and I think I've got to find a happy medium basically. I'm obviously not quite in the right place now um, and I just think there are a few small changes that I need to make to kind of bring Orkney into my life. 
I think that's the irony of the downshifting idea is that um, when you most want to do it, when it's most important to you, is when you've got most financial well, ties. Sorry. And she's free to do it financially, but emotionally, she's no way is she ready for that experience. So I think it's, uh, that's, it, I think we're very definite about that mm -hmm. one. <laughs>